Welcome! Today I'm making a video about the easiest and most straightforward way to install and run Agent Zero. If this is your first encounter with Agent Zero, definitely check out the web agent-zero.ai. Agent Zero can do many amazing things and it is completely free and open source, so I guarantee it will not be a waste of your time. You can join our community on our socials so you don't miss any future updates. There is also a written installation guide in our GitHub repository, in docs folder and installation markdown file, but it's basically the same I'm about to show you in this video. Agent Zero is not just a piece of software running on your computer. Agent Zero has its own virtual computer. It has a full Linux operating system that it can use to accomplish its tasks. So for this reason, we use Docker to isolate Agent Zero and make it live natively inside the operating system. Docker also makes it very simple to install and run Agent Zero. You just do a Google search for Docker Desktop. It should be the first link, docker.com, and you download Docker Desktop for your operating system and architecture. It is completely free for personal use, so don't worry about choosing a plan. Just download the installer. The installation of Docker Desktop is very simple on both Windows and Mac OS. On Windows, you just have to click a single button. On Mac OS, you just drag and drop the application into the apps folder. On Mac OS, when you first run the app, just check your settings, make sure that in advanced, you have selected the allow the default Docker socket to be used. So now you're in Docker Desktop and everything is empty because we haven't downloaded anything yet. So we do a search for agent-0-0 run. One update from the future here. Our repository has changed since the making of this video. It is now agent-0-ai slash agent-0. So please use this namespace and repository to pull your image. And it should be the first image on the list, 10K plus downloads. You can select the version you want to download. Just go with the latest and click on pull or run. The way Docker works is that you download Docker images from the hub, and then you can start containers based on images. So images are like a blueprint and containers are running instances of images. So now let's download the Agent Zero Run latest. This will take a while. It's somewhere around two gigabytes in size. Now the image is downloaded. Decompressed, it's about four and a half gigabyte because there's a full operating system inside and a lot of software pre-installed. And now that we have the image, we can start containers from it. You can start any amount of containers from a single image if you want to have multiple independent instances of Agent Zero running for some reason. Right now we only need one, so let's click Run. And in optional settings, the only thing you need to do is put a zero into the port 80. Zero means Docker Desktop will assign a random port for you. This will map the internal port of the container to a port on your host machine. This way you can connect to it in your browser and use the UI. You can also select or put zero into the SSH port if you want to connect to the terminal uh, of the operating system. You can map volumes between your host computer and the container, for example, if you want some files to persist between instances. And you can add custom environment variables or container name, but none of that is mandatory. So now my container is launching. It should take just a few seconds. And the framework is running and the web UI is hosted. We can click here, the port we have been assigned, and it will open a web browser. We are connected to our Agent Zero instance. Now Agent Zero is running. The green status icon indicates that we are connected to the Docker container properly. We need to do one more thing, and that is to select our AI model. OpenAI is selected as the default model provider. So if you're okay with OpenAI, go to platform.openai.com, create and copy your API key, 
and put it to external services API keys, OpenAI API key, and save it. If you want to use a different provider in agent settings for chat model, utility model, embedding model, and web browser model, you can select various providers. Most of them will require an API key. Some of them are free, like Grok or some models on Operator, but they will still require an API key. Or you can run your models locally using LM Studio or Olama. But that will require a lot of additional configuration on your side. Now with my OpenAI key pasted, with no additional changes, everything should work out of the box. Back in Docker Desktop, in the container section, I can see all of my existing containers. I can pause them, restart them, remove them if I don't need them anymore. Or I can click them for more details, see the terminal output, or I can execute commands inside the terminal of the Linux operating system, or I can inspect the operating system files from here. This is the most straightforward way to install and run Agent Zero. Keep in mind that the container is now completely isolated including all the files. So if I deleted the container now, all of the files would be lost, including all the agent memory and any files it has created. So you might want to backup or download some of those files before you delete your container. More persistence can be achieved by mapping individual folders from your computer to the container, but that might be a topic for another video. That's it, I hope it helps. Thank you for your time and don't forget to join our community so you don't miss any future updates.